All right. Let me help out some of you who are having difficulties. Here's my research folder. And you can see I've got a bunch of junk in there right now. So I'm going to start a little bit differently with this. I've got a new Google Doc. And I'm going to call this Section 3. Then I'm going to go to mrskipper.com slash encounters8. And I'm going to scroll down until I find section 3, Habitat. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. Maybe. Yes, there we go. Now, <clears throat> what animal am I researching? Oh, I was doing the lion. So where does my animal live? I'm going to go and open a new tab. I'm going to type, where do lions live? Boom. Okay. And here is a wonderful site. And it's top 10 facts about lions from the World Wildlife Federation. So I'm going to open that. And while I've got it open, I'm going to go back to my research folder. <clears throat> I'm going to click New, Doc, and this I'll call, uh, I don't know what number it is, but I'm going to put Source Lions WWF. All right. And go back to my top 10 facts. I'm going to agree to whatever that was. And I've got I can try to highlight it all with my mouse, or I can hit Control A, Control C to copy it, and then Control V to paste it. Now it says unable to create some images. That's fine. I don't want them anyway. And you can see all this weird formatting and stuff. Everything's covered in black. I'm going to fix that later. I'm going to take all that out later on. It's 20 pages long. Do I need this stuff? No. I'm going to delete all these things. But I'm not going to mess with it too much right now because that's just taking up time. But, and like this thing that's spinning, that's one of the things it couldn't load. I'm going to get rid of that. So, oh, goodness. Let me just let me hit enter. Try to get me some space to work. Now, I'm going to put my stuff up here. Um, first, I'm going to look for the author. I go back to the web page, and I'm looking at the top. Let's see. I see the name Andy Rouse. Okay. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Sometimes I can see something that says how to cite this source. Which isn't always correct anyway. We're using the MLA, Modern Language Association, Volume 8. Oh, that probably was for a picture. Steve Morello. Okay, that thing at the top, that was just for the picture. Okay. So, I don't have any author. I've looked at the top. I've looked at the bottom. So, now I need the title. Top 10 Facts About Lions. So, here's my source. Quotation mark. Top 10 facts about lions, period, quotation mark. Now I need the name of the website. And you can't see it on your screen, but up at the top, uh, well, it's called WWF. So I'm just going to put WWF. And that's going to be italicized, WWF and a comma. Now the next thing is who makes this website? Oh, and their top 10 facts doesn't use the word, it uses the number, so I need to fix that. Well, I go back here, go all the way back down to the copyright stuff, which you can just barely see it because of the way this recording is working. 
and it says WWF-UK. And so there may be a, a US version. So I'm going to put WWF.UK. And I heard that uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken is now just KFC. It doesn't stand for Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore. And uh, Weight Watchers is now just WW. It doesn't stand for Weight Watchers anymore. And so maybe WWF doesn't stand for World Wildlife Foundation anymore. So I'm just going to put WW. I'm not. You know what? I'm going to put World Wildlife Foundation UK, which just means just the British people. I'm also going to change my font down to 12. Then I'm going to put another comma. Now I need the website address. And this one, and you can't see it, but it has this whole long thing about uh, National Parks India. Let me, let me show it to you. I'm just going to put it right here. See how there's all this jazz on here? India. I don't need any of that. I'm just taking this part right here. This part right here will, and I'll prove it, take me to that page. Okay? I just put it in there. So let this go right there. Now, in one of my videos, I explained that depending on the situation, I don't know what happens, that instead of putting the address, it actually would put the name of the article. You don't want it to do that. So if it does that, you've got to fix it yourself. In addition, on the MLA, Modern Language Association, number eight, we don't put HTTPS, we don't put the slashes, we don't even put the www. And it looks weird to people who have been in research papers forever. That's just the way it is. Then I'll put another comma. Oh, I also need to find a, a date. I forgot that part. I'm going back down to the bottom, and I don't see a date. And in the old days, and in some versions, like with uh, the American APA version, American Psychological Association, they would have you actually put ND for no date. In the MLA version, if there's no date, you don't put anything. And there's no date at the bottom, there's no date at the top. So, and I would have put that after the name of the people. But I am going to go ahead and put the date that I accessed it. Access date 25 February 2021. Oops, I always do that. 2021 and a period. That right there is 50 points of my grade. Now, why am I at this website? Well, because I googled where do these animals live. So now I'm going back to my site, and I'm going to look for that answer. Nearly all wild lions live in Africa, but one small population exists elsewhere. And so I'm going to copy this information, because that's my answer to the question. Oh, see how it says they can weigh 30 stone? That's because it's from the UK. And so if I were to use that information, which I want to, I've got to figure out 190 kilograms is how many pounds. So, I pasted it, but the text is white, so I'm going to do that to it. I'm going to change my font to black. And here is the information I got. And then right after it, I'll put source, top 10, Now it says describe its habitat. Well, I might be able to get this from the, I've got their weight. Let me see. It's, do I need weight on here? Nope, I guess that was in section two. But I can find their habitat. Here's a description. Of, a lot of this would go in my section two. But anyway, um, but let's suppose I can't find it here. I'm going to do it. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to search again. I'll go back to Google. And I'm just going to type, describe lion's habitat. Search for it. And I've got Encyclopedia Britannica. And I've decided just because I'm a nice guy. Although I don't have to. Here's Animal Facts Guide. We want to avoid encyclopedias because they're just getting their sources from other places. And, and your teachers aren't going to like that. So I'm going to go to Lion Facts for Kids. Click on there. And let's see. I could start off with that, but I might, you know, it's like, well, that's not a lot of details. Because I, I need to find out, well, what are, what does this mean? Grassland, scrub, open woodlands. So I could use this. I'm going to search for the habitat. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is about their loss and fragmentation of habitat. So here's some endangered species stuff. So like, oh, this is good too. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go back to my folder. And I'm going to make a new doc. And, whoops, I clicked on a link. And you see this has a bunch of junk. So I'm going to try not to copy that junk this time. This is called Lion Facts for Kids. That may have copied it. Ah, it copied all that junk. So I copy it. I go back here. I paste it. And then I've got to clean this mess up. But I do have an author this time. Yeah, Abby Cushman. Our Abby. It's a girl. Oh, it's only at the bottom that most of that junk is. But I've got Cushman Abby. It was called Lion Facts for Kids. Da, da, da. And I can put the rest of it later. But, you know, as I was looking through this, I found some of the answers to uh, somewhere I saw it. Maybe it was in the other one. Anyway, oh, conservation status, about how they're threatened by loss and fragmentation. So let's go back to my outline. Is your habitat in danger? Why? Now, the one I'm looking at doesn't have a lot of detail, but so let me go back to this. You see, this, I've, all, I've got one sentence. And if you're asking, where'd you get Lion Facts for Kids? You can't see it, but it's on the tab. You know how you get different tabs at the top? It says Lion Facts for Kids up there. So, so I have this. I'll put Lion Facts for Kids. But you can see that's just, that's not a lot of stuff. And then it says, is my habitat in danger? And... I did a search, typed in in habitat, and it says threatened by loss of fragmentation, by loss and fragmentation. Now, so I keep saying this doesn't give me a lot of information, and that's true. So maybe, oh, this is Lion Facts for Kids. Oh, and my timer's about to run in 30 seconds. Since that site has very little information, maybe I need to find a better site. So now it's going to, I've got 30, because because I've got to be able to write 250 words about their habitat, and they're not giving me much information at all. And in 15 seconds, my timer runs out. 15-minute video. I'm just searching, Googling, describe its habitat. Is it in danger? What are their adaptations to find the information? Copying and pasting the sources, and the end.